This quick little video is about our motor yield target. Uh, also known as, we also call it a bit projection. Um, one of the things that Drakewell does for you on the fly is it calculates your projection to bit and your slide seen and unseen um, and for you. But sometimes um, if you're landing a curve and your motor's about to come on and, or, or you just know or have a gut about what the motor's actually gonna give you versus what the calculated values show. And, and that's okay. So we've given you a way to simulate that in Drakewell so that you can get um, you know, better data in terms of what your projected path um, is going to be as you move forward. So what we ask here um, are for, in, in the motor yield, so you'll add a target. Um, we ask for your course link to your bit. Um, your motor yield will need to include, so this can be a calculated motor yield um, or kind of, again, what, what you think you're getting. Um, you would enter the tool face that you want to hold over that distance and then your slide over that course length. Um, the way this is used quite a bit is in order to, again, um, simulate a projection to bit. So what Drakewell does now is any targets that you set actually come off your last survey. Um, we're doing a little bit of work to improve some of that um, where you have more flexibility about whether or not it comes off of the projection to bit that we calculate for you or your last slide, or I'm sorry, or your, or your last survey. But today, what you have the ability to do is you can say, well, this was my last survey and maybe my Drake well calculated to bit is, is here, but I actually know that it's here. So you can use a motor yield target in order to simulate that real life projection to bit. Then you can stack another target on top of that. One of the things to note about the motor yield that is actually different from all of the other projection methods in Drakewell is that because you don't, it's not depth based, um, you're never, you're never going to outrun the motor yield target, which means that it is always going to stay on. Um, if you are doing a 3DS or a, a J curve or a 3D build, any of those other targets, if you overrun um, the measured depth that, um, that you projected to, that target will actually fall off because it's behind you and you do not need it anymore. But the motor yield, uh, the motor yield projection will, will not. It will stay on throughout the course and then you can edit it as you see fit.